everyone in this video we'll be discussing very important and interesting topic ages these questions can be answered without using your pen and paper yes without using your pen and paper you can solve all the questions from ages in a just a fraction of a second let us look at next question ratio of present age of rahul and his sister is 3 is to 4 so rahul and rahul's sister present age ratio is nothing but 3 is to 4 so present age of rahul Rahul's sister is nothing but 3 is to 4. Next, 10 years before, that is like 10 years ago. Why? Because before or ago, both are like same. 10 years ago, Rahul, his sister, ratio is nothing but how much? 13 is to 19. Now, we are asked to find what is Rahul's percentage. So, we are asked to find Rahul's percentage. So, Rahul present age. Now, if I look at this particular question, the ratios are not same. Once the ratios are not same, you know how to do this. Multiply above difference, multiply below difference, take above difference, take below difference. Above difference multiplied below, below difference multiplied above. You know that, you can do that. Now, how to solve this question by just looking at the options. If you look at the options, options are like 36 years, 48 years, 42 years, and 54 years okay and this was asked in SSCGL tier 2 examination that is like 2017 tier 2 examination okay how to mark this by just looking at the option now options are like Rahul's percentage in the question Rahul's percentage should be a multiple of 3 now is 36 multiple of 3 yes is 48 multiple of 3 yes is 42 multiple of 3 yes is 54 multiple of 3 yes which means all these options are like multiple of 3 which means option was not eliminated by just looking at the first statement now what you will do is like you have one more statement verify one more statement 10 years back rahul says should be a multiple of 13 which means 10 years back it should be a multiple of 13 36 minus 10 36 minus 10 it's like 26 now 26 is a multiple of 13 yes 48 minus 10 48 minus 10 that is like 38 38 is not a multiple of 13 it's a wrong answer 42 minus 10 it's like 32 32 is also not a multiple of 13 wrong answer 54 minus 10 44 44 is also not a multiple of 13 which means i can say that answer for this question is like 36 years okay so just by looking at the questions you can mark these answers the only thing you need to do is like just concentrate here if you concentrate here then solving these questions will be really simple let us look at one more question current ages of sonali and monali so present ages of sonali and present ages of monali are in the ratio 5 is to 3 so present age ratio is like 5 is to 3 5 years from now that is like after 5 years this is like present age ratio after 5 years after 5 years ratio after 5 years sonali and monali ratio is nothing but how much it is like 10 is to 7. Now we are asked to find what is Monali's percentage. So we are asked to find Monali's percentage. That is like percentage of Monali. Okay. You know how to solve that is like based upon difference. I am directly showing you like how to solve with option verification. Okay. Monali's percentage options 5, 3, 9 and 15. Okay. Now percentage of Monali. Percentage of Monali should be a multiple of 3. Now if you look here, 5 is not a multiple of 3. 3 is a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3. 15, 15 is also a multiple of 3. Which means Monali's age is going to be a multiple of 3. So 3 or 9 or 15 years. Next. After 5 years. After 5 years, Monali's age should be a multiple of 7. So after 5 years, it should be a multiple of 7. 3 plus 5, it's 8. 8 is not a multiple of 7. So it's like wrong answer. 9 plus 5, 9 plus 5, it's 14. 14 is a multiple of 7. Okay, fine. 15 plus 5, 15 plus 5, it's 20. 20 is not a multiple of 7. Which means I can directly say that Monali's age is going to be 9 years. So look here, just by looking at the questions, if you're going to use your common sense, and I can mark these answers by just looking at the question itself. Okay, you know not use calculation and all. All these are like questions that were asked in various competitive examinations. Okay, now the only thing is like, if you're doing the calculation, you will be getting the answer. Even without doing the calculation as well, you can get the answer. But the only thing is like, if you're really smart, what happened is like, you can mark these answers by just looking at the question, where it consumes only something like two to three seconds. But if you're trying to do these calculations, it consumes a lot of time. Let us look at next example. 
k is twice as old as r three years ago k was three times as old as r the present age of k in years so we're asked to find what is the present age of k now if you look here k is twice as old as r means present age of k is like twice as old as r why because if nothing is mentioned you will be taking it as granted about present age okay now as per present as per present k to r that is k to r ratio is nothing but 2 is to 1 why because k is twice the age of r so it will be like 2 is to 1 next three years ago three years ago k to r k to r ratio is nothing but 3 is to 1 why because question is saying like three times it is like thrice so it will be like 3 is to 1 now we are asked to find what is the percentage of k okay fine now this was the question that was asked in one of the examination in the recent examinations now if you need to solve this question in normal way as difference is not same what i need to do is like i need to make this difference same that is taking above difference below below difference above and i need to do all this new sense but as i have said you we are going to solve this all questions with just using option verification why because option verification you can solve this in just a fraction of second without using your pen and paper right now how to solve this question with respect to option verification let us look at the options options are like first option seven next option eight next option 12 and next option is like 6 and whenever you are verifying the options make sure that what actually option represent why because when you are verifying the option what actually option represents is really important now these are like present ages of k now these are like present age of k so present age of k whether it is 7 or 8 or 12 or 6 we need to decide that now if you look here present age of k present age of k should be a multiple of 2 present age of k should be a multiple of 2 is 7 multiple of 2 no wrong answer is 8 multiple of 2 yes is 12 multiple of 2 yes is 6 multiple of 2 yes which means these three can be your answers but seven is going to be wrong answer next next statement three years ago three years ago means if i know present age if i need to know three years back i need to just subtract three if i subtract three then i will come to know what is the age three years back three years ago k should be a multiple of three yes now if you look eight minus three eight minus three will be five is five multiple of three no which means even this is going to be wrong answer next 12 minus 3 12 minus 3 will be like 9 is 9 multiple of 3 yes 9 is multiple of 3 next 6 minus 3 6 minus 3 will be 3 is 3 multiple of 3 yes now if you observe here as i was unable to decide which will be my final answer why because i got 12 i got 6 and both of them are satisfying both the conditions now till now you may think that what happens when you are going to get two options satisfying the condition yes now this is the question where two options are going to satisfy now even if you're getting two options satisfied why do you worry about that i am here to save you it's like really simple just what you need to do is like now when you verify this question with respect to k you came to know that these two are wrong answers and these two are like answers now you have one more person called r in the question as you have one more person called r then use the values of r when you use the value of r then solving this question will be like really simple now the reason for 12 and 6 both satisfying these like as 6 is a factor of 12 now what happens is like whatever the conditions satisfied by 12 the same conditions can be satisfied with 6 as well that is the reason what happens is like both of them are going to satisfy the condition why because 12 is going to come from 6 which means whatever condition satisfied by 6 the same conditions will be satisfied by 12 as well so let us use r and then decide what would be your answer okay you need not worry i will show you that now kr ratio is 2 is to 1 which means simply speaking r is half of k r is half of k if k is 12 r should be 6 if k is 6 r should be half that is like 3 now 3 years ago 3 years ago 3 years ago r will be 6 minus 3 that is 3 3 years ago r will be 3 minus 3 that is 0 now the question told us clearly that 3 years ago 3 years ago it was said that k is three times as old as r three years ago k should be three times as old as r now if you look here k is three times as old as r is nine three times of r yes now if you look here is nine three times of three yes nine is like three times of three now this condition is satisfied now if you look here three years ago k should be three times as old as r is three three times of 
three times of zero? No, which means it is not going to satisfy the condition. So I can definitely say that it is going to be my wrong answer and I can say that it is going to be my right answer. So simply whenever you have two options as well, you need not worry. Why? Because in the question you have plenty of information to crack these questions. Now what we are trying to do is like many of the questions we are able to get the answer just by using only some information. We are left out with much more information in the question and most of the questions can be answered with only some part of information that is used in the question. But if you are unable to get the answer, if you are unable to decide the answer and if you left out with two options, then you don't worry about that. Then what you need to do is like simply verify the next person as well. When you verify the next person, then obviously solving this question will be like really simple. Okay, you need to practice more and more. Let us look at next question. A mother is five times older than her daughter. After five years, she would be three times older than her daughter. Find the mother's percentage. We are asked to find what is mother's percentage. Now, if I look at the options, options are like 20 years, 22 years, 25 years, and next it's like 29 years. And these are like mother's percentage. So mother present. So all these options are nothing but mother's percentage. Now in the question we have an information saying that a mother is five times older than her daughter. Mother is five times older than her daughter means the present age of mother is nothing but five times the age of daughter. Which means mother's present age should be a multiple of five. Mother's present age should be a multiple of five. Even this is nothing but mother's present age. As mother's present age should be a multiple of five is 20 multiple of 5 yes is 22 multiple of 5 no is 25 multiple of 5 yes is 29 multiple of 5 no wrong answer which means any of these two should be your answer you are having one more statement as well read the statement it is saying that after 5 years after 5 years after 5 years she would be 3 times older to her daughter after 5 years mother is going to be 3 times after 5 years mother will be 3 times 3 times it should be multiple of 3 why because 3 times means multiple of 3 after 5 years means if I know the present age if I need to go after 5 years I just need to add 5 after 5 years mother say should be a multiple of 3 why because after 5 years mother is 3 times of daughter now look 20 plus 5 25 is 25 multiple of 3? No, which means this is a wrong answer. So I can definitely say that answer is going to be this one, which means this is going to be an answer without verifying the option as well. If necessary, you can verify the option. 25 plus 5, 25 plus 5, it is going to be 30. Is 30 multiple of 3? Yes, which means I can say that answer for this question will be 25 years. And this is one of the questions that was asked in the year 2017 in the CGL examination. Now, if I solve this question in a normal way, it consumes of time. But if I solve this with option verification, it's just a fraction of two seconds, which means I can mark this answer in a just a fraction of two seconds. But the only thing is like you need to practice more number of examples. Once if you're habited to do with option verification, the only thing is like you just need to understand the question. And if you're habited for this one, then solving these questions by option verification is just a fraction of second. Average age of A, B and C is 10 years less than age of C. If the ratio of age of A, B, C is 3 is to 4 is to 5 then what is the sum of age of AC we are asked to find sum of age of AC ABC ratio ABC ages ratio that is ABC present age ratio is nothing but 3 is to 4 is to 5 we are asked to find what is the sum of ages of AC now to find the sum of ages of AC the options are like options are like 80 and next 72 and next 85 and one more option is like 78 years okay now whenever you're verifying the option make sure what actually option represent option is nothing but present ages sum present ages sum of a and c together now this is nothing but present ages ratio of a b c now if you look here a is like three parts c is like five parts now if you look here sum means 3 plus 5 it should be 8 parts which means present age of ac should be a multiple of 8 why because 3 plus 5 it will be 8 so multiple of 8 is 80 multiple of 8 yes 
Is 72 multiple of 8? Yes. Is 85 multiple of 8? No. It's a wrong answer. Is 78 multiple of 8? No. Wrong answer. Which means definitely answer should be either this one or answer should be either this one. Now you have one more information. The information is like average age of ABC is 10 years less than the age of C. Average age of ABC means A, B, C average. Average means sum of ages by number of persons. Now if you look here, you already know ages ratio. That is like 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 3, which means average is going to be 4. If average of ABC is like 4, and you already know that average of ABC is 10 years less than age of C. Age of C is like 5 parts. Average age of ABC is 4 parts. Age of C is like 5 parts. Difference between them will be like 1 part. And the question clearly saying that average age of ABC is 10 years is 10 years less than the age of C. Average age of ABC is 4 parts. Age of C is like 5 parts. Difference is like 1 part. And the question said that 1 part is equal to 10 years. Why? Because difference between the average age of ABC and the age of C is like 10 years. So 1 part is 10 years. If 1 part is 10 years, question asks us to find what is age of A and C. That is like sum of age of A and C. Sum of age of A and C is nothing but 8 parts. 8 parts means 8 into 10. That is like 80 years. Which means the sum of present age of A and C is nothing but 80 years. The same question that was asked in recent comedy examination it's like really simple even this calculation is not required if you look here average means as these are like consecutive to numbers average is like middle term now the average of 3 4 5 will be 4 now the average of ABC is like 4 the age of C is like 5 difference between them is like one part and we know that difference between the ages is like 10 years if one part is 10 years the question asks us to say what is the sum of ages of AC that is 3 plus 5 8 parts 8 into 10 that is like 80 years hope you guys have enjoyed this session if you think that this session is helpful for you and if you need more of such interesting and smart logics then i need all you guys to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting the notification once the video is uploaded and i need all you guys to share this video with your friends family members your facebook groups and your whatsapp groups as well so that it will be a real boost up for me in the next upcoming videos until then have a nice day meet in the next session